The VO2 max test. This is one of the gold standard assessments to quantify an athlete's aerobic power. So athletes can adapt with training their ability to use oxygen to generate energy. And the skeletal muscle increase their mitochondrial density, increases capillary density. These are all ways for the muscle to be more efficient at utilizing oxygen to generate energy from those carbohydrates and fats. So as an athlete trains over time, their VO2 max increases. We assessed all of our athletes' VO2 max at the beginning of the study and also at the end of each four-week training period to see if there was any change. Um, most athletes at this high competition level um, have almost plateaued in their VO2 max values. We conducted VO2 max tests on a cycle ergometer. So it's a stationary bike that's controlled by a computer. Every three minutes, the resistance on the bike increased. And so the athlete experienced a continuous graded exercise test that got harder and harder every few minutes. During the test, the athlete has to wear this face mask where we're able to collect all of their expired breath. This allows us to quantify their oxygen consumption, carbon dioxide production, and gives us a direct measure of the fuel utilization within their body. Towards the end of the test, as the intensity is really difficult, we verbally motivate the athlete to keep going as long as they can so that they can reach their maximal oxygen consumption, or VO2 max. Metrics like VO2 max or VO2 peak, peak power, uh, lactate thresholds are critical for a coach to know if they're going to successfully work with an athlete, uh, change the physiology and get them to their goals. And so VO2 max is an interesting one. Uh, it's an interesting test because what we're trying to uh, determine is at what workload and what heart rate does the body change its metabolism and processing of oxygen. Over the years, I've tested my VO2 max many times. I was surprised because I had a 10 point difference between one test 10 years ago and my test most recently, that represents a 20% gain in 10 years of my VO2 max. So being equipped with these numbers allows me to work with my coach and establish uh, specific training programs and blocks of training uh, so that I can mimic and build some physiology for the event itself. So by Competing and training and resting and recovering and doing that cycle over 10 years, I've seen this gradual increase come together in a rather large improvement in my VO2 max.